when I went into the high, the tower and I talked to the highway patrolman, you know, I asked him blatantly, I said, is this a rare occurrence or does this happen often? And he looked at me and, and kind of smiled and just said, it happens all the time. I'm not 100% convinced that she did commit suicide. Um, I don't know if someone had accompanied her to the Golden Gate Bridge and had encouraged her to jump. I don't know if someone had been pressuring her to go, go to the Golden Gate Bridge and jump. And certainly, it is a highly risky, rather glorious uh, way to draw attention to oneself. My brother's very religious. He doesn't believe she committed suicide. She thinks it's something else. I don't know what he thinks. I didn't know that. Well, he won't call it that because no. it's a sin to commit suicide in his mind, and that's not what she did. She fell or something. I don't know what he's... He's coming up with different justifications, so he I can look he at it. He doesn't talk to me like that, so... Thing is, if you go stand on that bridge and look down, the amount of guts that you have to have to stick anything over that rail, it must have been incredible, the pressure on her. It had to be worse than the thought of doing that. And I've always thought of myself as a stronger person than her, and there's no way I would have the guts to do that, even with a, you know, a parachute or something. And for her to just do it and just like that, I was like, we still can't, I still can't believe it. My family, my husband, my, my kids were like, how does she even think about doing that? I think it was a relief, a relief for her because she knew that she probably never would be physically well again. And she knew she had the mental illness and she was just at the end of her rope. There were too many things. So Yeah, I agree with she's that. She's in a better it's... place, that's all I can say. You have to look at it that way, you know?